This year's peach crop could be in danger even before the first trees bloom. Our TJ Del, TJ Del Santo spoke to local peach farmers about why they're worried. Peach trees are beautiful when they're in bloom and their fruit, it's even better. But peach trees typically don't like the kind of cold we had last weekend. Peaches don't like cold. Some of this year's peach crop may have been put on ice. There's definitely some damage to the to the peach buds out here. The temperature dropped to 11 degrees below zero Saturday morning here in Greenville. Traditionally said negative 15 will take out the whole crop, so we're hoping that the negative 11 wasn't close enough. John Steer, along with his father, owns Steer Orchards. There are 300 peach trees here. In 45 years of growing peaches, he's, he'd never lost a crop until 2016. In 2016, it was hard to find one peach anywhere in the Northeast because of the damage caused by extreme cold that year. Unseasonably warm temperatures brought many trees to near bloom in the days leading up to the 10 to 20 below zero weather. Will it take out the whole crop? I don't know. Hopefully not. The loss of the whole crop hurt this family farm in 2016. They're keeping their fingers crossed for this year. I think there's still some live ones out here. We'll be okay. Steer said the mild winter is partly to blame. It hadn't quite hardened off with the winter yet, it seemed, because it's been up and down, and they, they need around 30 days of freezing for them to be acclimated to the uh, to the winter and for this cold that comes up. Open up the peach bud and, and like slice it diagonally. It'll it'll be green all the way through and that'll mean it's still alive and still going. And if you see a little bit of brown or black inside, it means it's probably dead. And up here in Massachusetts, we got up, we were in the minus mid teens. John Clements is a tree fruit specialist at UMass Amherst. And up here, at least in Massachusetts and northward, is there probably won't be much of a peach crop, if any, in 2023. Steer said he won't really know the true extent of the damage until the pink blossoms appear in the spring. But he said their 25 acres of apple trees should be just fine. I'm TJ Del Santo, 12 News.